the American Ag Editors Association that had a big impact on my career. Uh, it stands out with uh, FFA and 4-H experiences. My leadership was put to test in the fall of 1983 when I accepted the AAEA presidential nomination and promised to solve the tensions surrounding commercial sponsorship. The biggest decision of my presidency was to hold what became known as the Flame Meeting. It was basically a strategic planning meeting to cover all aspects of AAA activities, including sponsorship. The compromises we reached at the Flame helped to bridge the many tensions and resulted in what became known as the AAA Foundation, which has kept the Flame alive. The Flame prevented a potential disaster. It was 1984, and the association was in turmoil. Leaders I remember turning to included Fred Myers, John Harvey, Joe Dan Boyd, Gary Vincent, Larry Harper, and Cordell Tyndall. Others I remember, but not limited to, include Fred Myers, John Harvey, Earl Ainsworth, Wilson Carnes, Monty Sesker, Del Dieterling, Gary Reynolds, Jack Pitzer, and Patty Orlowitz. An anecdote I remember revolves around Larry Harper of the Missouri Ruralist. At the time, I had no idea of where to hold the meeting or how to proceed as I was new here in California. I called Larry and he suggested holding the meeting in the Lake of the Ozarks and said he could help set it up. I said, that's great. Larry suggested that we start with a cookout the first night. The state cookout proved to be a great groundbreaker as everyone had to make their own salad, cook their own meat, etc. Learning to work together, divisions soon melted and compromise seemed within reach. I first became a member of the American Agricultural Editors Association in October of 1961 while on the National Future Farmer editorial staff. I was lucky that Wilson Carnes, our editor, encouraged membership in AAEA among his staff The basics of journalism are the same. They have not changed. Honesty, hard work, fact checking, reader engagement, and relentlessly following key farm beats. The major change is in the way we pursue those objectives and how they are delivered. Digital content using the computer and internet are now the key to beat coverage, fact-checking, and delivery. However, these methods also invite misinformation, disinformation, and mindless rants run wild. Uh, well, I'm actively looking into uh, setting up a farm blog here in California. Um, Mary and I have long been involved in this California State Fair. Uh, for example, we've been judges of the California counties exhibit for years, and we are both members of the Ag Advisory Council of the California State Fair. And I'm also on the UC Davis Ag Advisory Commission and a member of the Food Foresight Blue Ribbon Panel as well as a member of a state ag leaders group. We reside in Danville, California. AEA is relevant today because it provides 
a background of historical importance, like learning through conferences, workshops, and field trips. What's more, it provides a touchstone, or perhaps more accurately, a network with other journalists and fellow ag journalists. Well, I consider it one of the most significant uh, awards I've been privileged to receive with California Farmer and AAEA as it stands out as the quote-unquote professional award. In California, I was named Agriculturist of the Year in 2007 as the only journalist to be so honored. And this stands out in, as significant in California. Thanks for this great award.